Hello everyone, this is Sylvia at Spindle and Bags, and today we're going to talk about how to cut out pieces of patterns that we would normally trace. So I like to use the technique that quilters use to cut out their blocks, and I like it because it's precise, and I have found that the more precisely you cut out your bag patterns, the easier it comes together. So today what we're going to need is at least two rulers, your fabric, your rotary cutter, a pair of scissors, an air erasable pin, and your pattern piece. So we're going to move these off to the side for now. And we're going to lay out our piece of fabric. And once we get that all laid out, we're going to look at our pattern. And the first thing we want to do is we want to measure it using the right side of our ruler. So right here we have about six and a half. So we want to measure out seven inches. And then this is nine wide. So we want to cut a piece of fabric that is nine wide by seven length. And the reason why we want to do a seven inch length is to give us enough room to do our little rounded corners without having to really fight at the bottom. So let's start. And so I have two large rulers that I use when I'm doing large bags. And on one of them, I have little stickies on the bottom to keep my ruler from sliding. And that really helps a lot. And these provide traction and I can provide a link to where I got those. So I'm going to make a straight cut. And that's the first thing that you need to do. So that way we have our starting cut that's nice and fresh. So make sure it's a nice straight line. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create our seven inches because this is a pattern that is seven inches in length and nine inches in width. So we do that by lining up the seven. We wanna be precise because precision is key for me when making bags because they come together so much easier. So when we're lining things up, we want to hold this one firmly as we're sliding this one over. So that way this one doesn't slide. And then we're going to press this one down as we slide this one out of the way. So that way we have a nice firm grip as we make our cut. And then before we let up, we want to make sure that we've made a clean cut by just moving this one out of the way before we let up the pressure. Uh, Cause if we haven't made a clean cut, if we've kept the pressure down, then we can just easily make another cut. So we have our pattern that is now seven inches in length. We're gonna move the fabric out of the way. And now that we have our fabric seven inches in length, we're going to make a little cut on the side. We're going to line up evenly on both sides. I have the black line that is lined up on the bottom and the top. And we're going to make our cut on the side to make another clean line that lines up so we have 90 degree corners on both sides. What we're going to do now is we're going to make our nine inches and we're going to line it up. And some, a trick that I have is to go up a quarter inch so we can make sure that we have that 90 degree angle coming down, which we do. We're pressing on this one as we slide this one up, pressing down on this one as we move this one away, and making our cut, keeping our pressure on, 
as we move this one away. And now we have our seven inches in length, nine inches in width. Now that we've done that, we can then line up our pattern piece. And we line it up nice and precisely and bring out our fabric air erasing pen. Now, depending on what you are working on, you might find that it's easier to use a leather marking pen and using it on the back. I find that's really helpful with very dark fabrics, you know, if you have a black. And we're just gonna make a nice mark right here. I like to kind of go back and forth because air erasable pen can erase very quickly. So I like to go back and forth a little bit. So that way it lasts more than a quick second. So that way I can get to the scissors in time. And if you move a little bit, just move it back, keeping pressure on the paper. We're just going to go around and this particular fabric has a lot of fuzz. So I'm just going to wipe that fuzz off coming around and there we have our markings. There you have it. You have your piece of fabric that you didn't have to trace out the whole thing. You just have a nice, clean piece of a pattern. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time at Spindle and Bags. Bye!